Hi, this is Bino, and today I wanted to talk about the ART Snake Anchor. It can be a base anchor, a friction saver, and a canopy anchor. So here it is. It's really kind of cool. It has this face of a snake on the on the ring, um, and it's got a eight millimeter stitching. I mean, the stitching is awesome. This uh, this cap's pretty nice. Um, really well stitched, and along its length, it has these loops where you can connect a carabiner. Um, this one's about eight feet long. I think the price point in on it is about like $130. But uh, yeah, it's really well made and even has a, a, a loop on the end. And if you, uh, when you're gonna connect it, so you can connect it through any of these links, which is really cool. Um, you definitely wanna go through the, the rope and not through the stitching. If you were to connect it in this way, this is like wrong. And what can happen is if you connect like that, this stitch could rip out and you would fall. So the, the idea with this deal is that you connect through any of these rings and if one were to break, you go fall back to the next. And it's really pretty, pretty darn cool. So uh, we're gonna give it a try on a base anchor. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just set up a, a simple uh, base anchor So you just throw it around the tree, and then you throw this um, piece right through. And then you could just pretty much pick the ring you want. So you get your carabiner, set it through. There you go, you got that. And then what you want to do is get your rope, and then make a butterfly, or whatever knot you like. And I, I really do like the butterfly more. Okay, then you clip it up. Make sure the spine is up against the trunk. And there you go. That's pretty nice. So it doesn't have to be just a simple setup. It can be more advanced. So um, in this setup, you've got, um, it's connected, choked with an ART right through the ring. And then with the main setup, you have a carabiner connected to a figure eight. It's hard locked. You've got a, um, a friction hitch connected to a car carabiner also through those loops that um, are connected to the ART. And then you even have a, a, a stopper carabiner. You can put a figure eight and connect it stopper. So it's really a nice situation where you have all these extra loops so you could do a more advanced um, aerial rescue type of uh, base anchor. Really cool. So we'll have a, um, a link in our description showing another video or some of the other videos, um, one that'll show a setup just like this. So uh, here's a friction saver and um, the branch is pretty darn big and it won't, it won't reach. So friction saver is only one link. Okay, so with this ART, it's kind of cool. You can also use it as a friction saver. The small eye would use, be the same as a small eye on a friction saver and you'll use the other end, a carabiner. So, um, you know, length is not a problem. Some big limb like this, where the friction saver, I would have been sunk. So all I have to do is line it up to the length I want. I'll grab the carabiner, connect it. So this will be the big eye, and this will be the small eye. Now all I gotta do is get the rope that I plan to use. and set it through. So you remember that the, you know, the way you wanna pull it down, you're gonna put the small eye on that side. And it's probably better if it's up against the trunk to have the spine of the carabiner up against the trunk. There you go, friction saver, large branch, not a problem. So we, we were gonna just show you guys a little bit on how to install it just like a regular friction saver. So uh, we've picked our length. We're going to do it on a real small limb, uh, but you can do it from the ground just like a regular old friction saver. You're going to use a small eye as a part that you're, you're going to remember that um, you're going to tie your overhand knot and it'll pull it back through. So to do it, we've already got our shop bag thrown in and our line. You can get your, uh, you put your, your string through the, the eye, connect your uh, bag. <coughs> back to the ball, 
I usually use an anchor with a slip. That's kind of my favorite thing to use. Okay, you get that set up. Then you're gonna get your carabiner side and then you're gonna connect it to the other line. And on that side, you're gonna start pulling it up. Once you get it connected, you go ahead and pull it up. Oops. There you go. Real quick click. Send your ball back down. Then you're gonna connect your climbing line. So I use a couple of clove hitches and you kinda, I'm gonna go through the small end so I'm gonna get close to the end as I can so it makes it through. See if I can get it to go. All right, I'll pull it up through. Oops, kind of got tangled on me. There it goes. So there it is. So now you're ready to go ahead and um, use your friction saver. Now, in order to take it down, what I can do is the same kind of thing that you would do if you were uh, using a regular friction saver. So since I already got it connected, this is a short end. This is the end that's gonna go through the, the small ring. I'll just move my knot up a little here and I'll do a figure eight. I mean, not figure eight, an overhand knot. No figure eight won't get it through. So overhand knot, slide this, just make sure it's tight. I might even do like a little backup half so it won't get um, stuck. And you go ahead and pull it back through. So take it down. When you get to the carabiner, give it a little tug. There it goes. Hold on to the, the string, the zingit line or your shot bag line. And then you could slowly bring it back down just like you would if it was a regular old friction saver. Really pretty cool. And the extra length, I mean, you could do it on pretty huge limbs if you were climbing a huge tree. Well, here's another thing that you can use it for is a, a canopy anchor. Um, it, but it's a canopy anchor that you're definitely gonna have to get back to if you use it. So say you're, you have a walk and you don't want to swing. You throw your line, you hook your tail through the ring, you get it set up, and you get a carabiner, and you get to the length that you want, like right here, and I'll throw my spine up against the trunk. I don't know if that's gonna make a whole huge amount of difference. And then you're gonna get your, your line your climbing line and you're going to put it into that carabiner right so now that if you were going to like unhook or something and you know if you undid your lanyards if you were to slip you couldn't you wouldn't swing very far you just kind of come down right here see i i wouldn't if i slipped i i wouldn't do that far swing so really kind of a cool cool idea um, canopy anchor and you can use it as a redirect pretty cool and to take it down you definitely have to go back up and land your back in and then just take it off there you go not a bad deal so in this video, we talked about the ART snake anchor, um, and it's really um, a nice piece of equipment. Um, it does work with different diameters, and that's really one of the great things about it. Um, do make sure that if you want, uh, there are a few different sizes. Um, we put it on a tree that it was way too small for, so I mean, the one we have is an eight foot, and they have a little bit longer, um, but uh, for a base anchor, really worked well. And as a friction saver, um, it was really cool. You can actually use it on large, large limbs if you need to. 
Um, you can use the different sizes and loops that you want. Um, and also as a canopy anchor, it works really well. As I said, it can go on different diameters, so um, really nice tool to have. So uh, that was a video on the ART snake anchor. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell if you want to see any of the videos that we upload. Take care.